Welcome to our weekly stock review. Let's check out the performance of Infosys. If you would have invested 2000 rupees monthly, then you are looking at a CAGR of around 70%, capital gains of 299%, and total return of 316%, which is around 301,000 rupees. Annual earnings growth of 11%, and future return on equity of 32.3%. Before we continue, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to our channel. And, to be the first to get notified about new videos, hit that red bell icon to make it grey. Together with its subsidiaries, Infosys Limited provides consulting, technology, outsourcing, and next-generation digital services in North America, Europe, India, and internationally. It provides Application Development and Management Independent Validation Product Engineering and Management Infrastructure Management Enterprise Application Management Support and Integration Services the company's products and platforms include Finical, a core banking solution, Edge suite of products, Infosys NIA, an artificial intelligence platform, Infosys McCamish, an insurance platform, Wingspan, a customizable learning platform, Stator mortgage servicing platform, Pania automation suite, and Scava, an e-commerce suite. Infosys, a very client-focused company, has been quietly working towards ensuring that they are the first choice for any of the world's top companies to assist them in wading through the uncertainties and challenges of rapidly changing business turf. Ownership breakdown of Infosys reveals that Promoter and Promoter Group owns 12.9% stake in the business and no significant dilution in the past year. Institution investors hold 77.4% from the rest of 86.7% public holding. Large rising institution holding reflects the credibility of the company among the investors. Top 6 shareholders in Infosys are Deutsche Bank Aktien Gesellschaft, London Life Insurance Corporation of India, Asset Management Arm BlackRock Incorporated Senapathy Gopalakrishna SBI Funds Management Private Limited ICICI Prudential Asset Management Company Limited Infosys has been doing great financially. As a result, their short-term assets covers their short-term and long-term liabilities. Infosys is debt-free and has not had any debt for the last five years. Infosys has a ROSE of 33%, which outpaces the industry average of 12%. Data shows that Infosys has grown its ROSE by 21% over the last five years whilst employing the same amount of capital. Infosys operating margin of 24.5% is an expansion of three points over the previous year. Infosys has made the business efficient. But, at the same time, areas to invest for organic growth are lacking. Infosys achieved being carbon neutral in 2020, which is 30 years ahead of the timeline set by the Paris Agreement. They have positioned themselves to reap maximum profit, with increasing demands for a more hybrid working environment, depending on collaborative and cloud-based technologies. With its current dividend yield of 1.7%, Infosys is among the top 25% of dividend payers in the Indian market. Infosys has been increasing its dividend payments over the past 10 years. In the end, Infosys is a must-have stock for growth. It's able to secure a spot in the top 10 stocks of the mid-cap category. And from its performance in the past, I feel very comfortable having it in my portfolio for the coming months. Don't forget to like and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then click on the red subscribe button to make it grey. And while you are at it, click on the red bell icon to get notified when we post another video.